Hello, I'm Nicholas Powers with Aero Electronics and I have with me today the Advanced Feather IoT Pack from Adafruit. This was a kit that they put together that is meant more for your advanced projects. When you've kind of scaled up through electronics, you've gone beyond what some of the really simple things can do, you've got your LEDs blinking, and now you want to get a project online. So we're going to open it up, do a little unboxing, show you what's inside, get your project started. So, here is some pretty packaging. On the back here, it actually gives you kind of a rundown of what's inside, it's saying we've got some fun boards to play with, and it's for the student who's mastered Arduino and soldering and is ready to take on more. So, let us open this up. Okay, so inside, nicely bubble wrapped so things aren't bouncing around too much on you. First off, we've got the DHT22. This is a temperature and humidity sensor with single wire communication. It's really convenient for any environmental monitoring that you might want to do. And basic uh, USB to USB micro cable, just for hooking up to the board and getting everything programmed. We have a door sensor. This is an enclosed magnetic reed switch that can help you detect when a door is open or closed. It's just a very simple switch, two wire, easy to get set up, and you can use it on your digital I.O. Next up, okay, this one's a fun one. This is a little micro servo. So this is controllable from the Feather very easily. Um, there are a bunch of libraries on how to already use a servo, but it's just single step servo motion to help you open or close little doors or flip switches, do mechanical interfacing. Ah, this one's pretty cool too. This is a PIR sensor. So this is a passive infrared sensor or pyroelectric infrared sensor, depending on who you talk to. And let's see if I can get it out of the bag while making a ton of noise. Um, so here's the little sensor. Um, it's actually a little dome covering the actual sensor. Let's pop it open. So there, you can see the sensor itself. It comes with a cable to get it hooked up so you can get it into your projects. This is really useful for detecting if somebody is in a room or a simple motion. So think of it as a motion sensor. And the wire that goes with that. Okay, we've got two more things in here. First up, this is the Adafruit Parts Pal. This is a ton of different components from LEDs to resistors, voltage regulators, transistors, connector wires, capacitors, um, headers, a, bre a little breadboard, all the things you need to get your projects really up and running. And last but not least, we have the actual Feather Huzzah board itself, along with the Feather Wing OLED display. This is the brains of the operation and a little cool display to help make things visible for you. Let's pull it out of the packaging. Okay, the, we'll start with the OLED display. This already has the headers attached to it, so it plugs right into the Feather Huzzah. It's got a small OLED display here, a couple of interface buttons and a reset since it does block the switch that's on the feather itself or at least makes it hard to access. And this is, has some really nice libraries already written that you can use to display simple information. So we'll set that down. And then here it is itself. This is the Adafruit Feather Huzzah. This is a breakout board based upon the ESP8266 module. So this little module right here, you can think of it as very similar to an Arduino. You even program it the same, but it's got Wi-Fi built in. And the only downside really is that it has less, um, less analog I.O. So it only has one A to D converter in it. So you don't get as much um, analog input, but it does have a nifty little header here. And that allows you to actually plug a battery in and uh, make your project completely wireless. There's your little USB port for programming and it has headers top and bottom so you can plug it into a breadboard and get your designs up and running really quick. So here's the brand of your operation along with everything else here. It really allows you to make a lot of very cool things. So this was the Adafruit Advanced Feather IoT Pack and thanks for joining me. If you guys want this it'll be on our website at aero.com and uh, I look forward to seeing what you can make with it.